uh, because I like for them to chew the bone. So the ground chicken just finished getting cut. If you could fit it in, that's fine. What's going on guys, this is Raul from The Q. Now normally, I always do these recipes and nine times out of 10, they're not necessarily cooked, they're actually raw. Today we're gonna switch it up a little bit for you. We're actually gonna go ahead and cook it with the help of these two crock pots. We're gonna show you this great recipe and we're actually gonna get our dogs fed. So first thing we're gonna do is actually we're gonna turn on our grinder. This is a Weston brand. It says here 32. Where did I get this grinder? I got this grinder from Amazon. It cost me at the time somewhere about either a thousand or eleven hundred dollars and I find it to be very much well worth it because while you're paying fifty and sixty dollars for a bag of kibble I'm able to actually feed my dogs with better food at a fraction of that cost so for me this grinder is very much worth it we're about to put 20 pounds worth of chicken through this you're gonna see how fast this grinder just goes right through it Just like that, man, it's, it's that fast. And um, if you wanna see what it looks like. There you go. Once you have a grinder, it just, you know, your dog's nutrition gets that much better and uh, really makes your life that much easier. Now, I will say for the most part, you know, I don't grind chicken quarters for my adults uh, because I like for them to chew the bone. You know, it's got benefits, cleans their teeth. I think I might have, uh, I might have outplanned myself on this one because I don't think, I don't think I could get the whole 20 pounds to fit there. Now I can tell you guys, it's fitting in just snug. So if you're gonna be cooking 20 pounds like I planned originally, you're probably gonna need uh, two crock pots. So check it out. We're gonna go ahead and set it to poultry. It says 15 minutes. We're actually gonna add an additional 15 minutes to that and run it for 30 minutes. And we're gonna go ahead and get that going. All right guys, so basically we're gonna add some brown rice. Now, whenever I'm cooking brown rice for my dogs, I always like to add twice as much water. Carbohydrates are hard to digest, so the body needs a lot of water to digest them. And therefore, that's the reason why whenever I give rice or any type of carb, it could be potatoes for that matter, uh, I make sure they're getting plenty of water. I think I'm gonna have, yep, exact amount. First festival we're gonna throw in there is gonna be kale greens. I definitely love throwing this in there because kale is the highest concentrated food with micronutrients. We're gonna put about one handful, one of my handfuls comes out to about a cup and a half. So I'm just gonna put a little bit more in there. Next up is gonna be green beans and again, it's only gonna be about a handful. Next up, we got good old carrots. Break them up. So while we're at it, we're gonna go ahead and drop in two sweet potatoes. That These have already been pre-washed. We're just gonna drop them in there. I usually like to break them, but if you could fit it in, that's fine. So guys, it's pretty easy. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit rice on there, and we're gonna go ahead and hit start. And we're just gonna sit back and let this stuff cook. So guys, what we're gonna do is use our time wisely. We're gonna go ahead and process this chicken through the grinder. So I wanna talk to you about NuVet and Knee Joint DS. Okay, this is double strength. And this is NuVet, which is a multivitamin. This is for joint support. It's the only multivitamin and joint support that we use with our dogs. This is cold pressed. It is not cooked like kibble where proteins get denatured and vitamins and everything else, you don't know how bioavailable they are by the time they get to your dog. We're gonna go ahead and leave the code up on the screen. If you go ahead and order NuVet and Knee Joint DS, 
and you do auto ship, you're also gonna get an additional 13% discount. The other thing we have over here is none other than cinnamon and turmeric. Now check it out guys, cinnamon, more than anything, is to lower the blood sugar, we're actually giving the dogs rice, which is a simple sugar. So in order to be able to counter that for them naturally, also, it's not just any cinnamon you could give to dogs. There's a particular kind. In addition, we're gonna give our dogs turmeric. Turmeric is a natural anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, anti just about everything bad. So if you have an older dog, or even puppies, or dogs that are exercising, these two things are very effective. The last thing we're gonna be adding to this is none other than sardines and oil. Now, I typically don't like to give my dogs sardines and oil. Today is more of a treat type of day. And the reason I don't like giving it in oil is because it has soybean. The soybean has been proven, you're feeding it to your dogs long term, to actually contribute to tumors and cancers. The main benefit that you're actually getting out of sardines is nothing more than omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids you're also getting protein we make sure it doesn't have any type of sauces or anything like that in there try to keep it as basic as possible and if you could get the one that comes with water that wouldn't be the worst thing so the ground chicken just finished getting cooked let's take a look nice really nice smells really good actually so now we just got to move this uh to the other container over there and then the rest of the ground chicken we're going to put in here and cook as well What are the benefits of this? The benefit is you're getting exactly what you paid for. I paid for two 10 pound bags of chicken quarters. I know that's what my dogs are eating. I don't have to go get a kibble bag and guess what chicken meal means or chicken byproducts. Is it the beak? Is it the feather? If you only have one dog, you could do a preparation like this once a week and the rest of the food that your dog's not gonna eat just buy yourself some tupperware put it there put it in the freezer now when i'm all done you're gonna see we're actually gonna pour everything into a bucket just like clockwork rice is about a minute away um guys if you're used to doing this on a daily basis you're gonna notice that you're gonna become more and more efficient and it'll get to a point where it's just second nature especially if you're cooking on a daily so the rice is done yeah yeah, this is looking good. Yeah, you got all that kale in there. It's nice and mixed. And now we're just gonna add meat to it. So guys, in order to make good use of time, we're gonna go ahead and mix the sardines in. Like I said, now we're just gonna mix. And then all we need to add to this is gonna be some meat. So there's your meat in the bucket. And uh, yeah, now it's just a matter of uh, mixing it. You have all the minerals and vitamins, proteins and whatnot being bioavailable to the max. All right guys, so yeah, second pot of meat is done. Whoa, look at that. Steamed up the glass. There you go. Yeah, at this point, we're just gonna bring the bucket up here and just throw it right in there. 